Hi, it's Dina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag. This bag is the Jujube, I think it's called the Be Classy. I have not used this particular bag. This is in Queen of the Nile pattern. Um, and I'm excited about it for a lot of reasons. One, it's a good size bag and I'm feeling like I keep wanting to shove a bunch of things and have them with me on the fly. Um, but this bag is waterproof, machine washable, which makes it very wipeable, very resilient and whatnot. Um, as we go, I'm gonna be taking off all the little coverings. Um, it is black and white with this interesting chevron sort of pattern that could give you a, a little bit of an eye quake if you look at it moving around too much. Um, it has a lot of pockets and organization, which is awesome. Here's some more of those coverings on the zipper pulls. It's very well protected when you get it, so that's nice. Some of them I've already taken off. Okay, so let's start with the front. It has a big double zipper pocket, zips all the way down, has nice gusseted front pocket, very accessible and lots of organization. It has a sort of golden interior. There's actually a faint print on it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it very well, the lighting, but if I move it a little bit, you can kind of see there's like a print on that fabric. But it's a shiny, soft, sort of silky, satiny sort of feel. It has an elastic bungee key clip, which you can use for a coin purse. You don't have to use it for keys. You've got a, quite a nice size compartment. It's not huge. You can't tell on the bottom, but it's about a finger depth there all the way around. It has slip pocket here, which has a gusset to it as well. So you can fit like a small set piece in there. You have another pocket here that has a zipper on it. You have in front of it on the other side, you have a sunglasses sleeve. It's not padded, but it is like a microfiber type thing. So a nice little place for your sunglasses or for little trinkets you can put in there. And then you have another gusseted slip pocket. Again, you could fit small set piece in there. Um, so there you go. And that zips up and around. Nice and secure, I guess that would be your mommy pocket as people call it. The straps themselves, the handles are rolled and padded so they have a nice, good, robust roll to them. And then they have the rectangular metallic hinged thing. So when you have them down, they do lay flat. That's quite nice because it does come with a removable, adjustable, pretty robust. Oops, I have this threaded through. Ooh, yeah, like that. Let's thread it through the zipper. Um, so this nice, big, removable, adjustable crossbody shoulder strap. So for me, when I put that on, I like it to hang nice and low on my hip, but there's the, the shoulder things can just drop right down. And there you have that. Um, when you're not using it, you can take it off or tuck it in or do whatever, but the handles, they can fit really nicely and comfortably on your shoulder. You can carry it on your arm. You can carry it like this and it doesn't hit the ground. So it's kind of a great all around bag. Uh, definitely a large handbag or diaper bag, which I don't have kids, so I don't have a need for that. Um, but there you go. So looking on the sides of the bag as we work our way around, um, there's pretty robust fittings. Then below that you have side pockets and these are nice, Side pockets, pretty good size. You can fit a bottle in there. Speaking of bottles, it's summer in Arizona. I have water everywhere. And here's one, this is just a Tupperware water bottle. And I love purple and I love penguin. So yeah, it's a, it looks like a kid's thing, but it's mine. Uh, only ever been mine. But it's a great size that I use it a lot because it closes pretty securely. It's reusable and I can take a little water with me in my bags. Um, I don't know if I've even shown it before, but it fits perfectly right into that side pocket, zips in there really nicely. It's not insulated, but just a little water just to keep, you know, your mouth wet. Um, same thing on both sides though. So you do have two, you can use it for other things. It doesn't have to be a bottle. It can be keys or a cell phone or whatever, but there you go. And then on the back of the bag, you have two pockets. It looks like one big slip, but actually it's two and they're both zipped. So here you have a smaller zipper. That's a soft line pocket, perfect for your cell phone. I just leave it unzipped and I'll put my phone in and out is my plan. And then right there next to it, there's a second zipper. 
And that pocket is nice wide pocket all the way across the bag. It's not padded, that's just fabric there, but it goes the full length and width. So I'm thinking I might put something like my, my planner back there, maybe. I don't know what else, we'll leave that open. Then when you go to the inside of the bag, it, it is meant as a diaper bag, so it does come with a changing pad. And when I say pad, it is actually padded. It has a memory foam pad in there. It's got the pattern, and then it has the interior pattern on the back. And it is, I don't know if you're going to see it better on here, maybe, the pattern in there. It's kind of a floor, flourishes. It's kind of elegant looking flourishes. Anyways. This can be used for a great many other things. I've talked about it before. You could use it to sit on the wet grass or on a bench or, you know, cause this one is actually padded, you know, that might be useful if you have to sit on someplace hard for a while. Um, but anything like that you can use as a craft mat, a place mat at a table, especially with kids, it's very wipeable. So yeah, a lot of options for that. I'm just taking it out for now. Um, the bag does have feet on the bottom, that is great. And inside, you have a lot more organization. You have a mesh elastic slip there. You have a zipper pocket here. On the opposite side, you have two more mesh compartments. Now, I was talking about these end pockets. If you do put something big and bulky in there, it does kind of take up a little space potentially on the inside, but it's such a big bag and so roomy that it really doesn't eat up too much to make it you're not not usable you know and there's a base of it in its entirety it is a very big bag um, I don't need this much space but I'm sure I can find a way to use it so this is the Jujubee Classy uh, again I think that's the name of it if it's not I'll put it down below but uh, this is what we're moving into brace yourself guys we're seven minutes in and it's only getting started so alternative water bottle I have this one. This one is Mochik. I got this on Amazon. It's clear, it's plastic. It's got this sort of silicone feeling outer screw cap and a little handle that you can take off. But you can see how much water. It definitely holds more water than the Tupperware. And the cool thing about this bag is it fits perfectly right in this mesh pocket. And so for now, since I never use this water bottle, I just might do that. So for now, I'm going to leave that there and we'll put the other one aside. Okay. So a couple, couple tidbits here as we get started. This is the bag I'm still in. I'll put a link to the video here where I did the what's in my bag. This is the Vera Bradley on the go in um, denim navy. So right now it looks like it's overflowing just because I threw some things back into it that I pulled out. But this is one I've been in ever since that video, so quite a while, um, because it just goes with everything. It's it's denim, it's it's a dark color, it's, yeah. So I've been using it quite a lot. So let's right quick pull everything out and off. I had a hand sanitizer, Bath and Body Works. It was just a simple little black silicone ribbon thing. I don't need that. I have my Erin Condren Petite Planner for this year. I've got a accordion wristlet. I've got a little pouch. This is the Travel Takes Mini Dome Cosmetic that's got all sorts of miscellaneous stuff in there. I've got a Jujube Eco Crossbody. Um, I'll put the name down below. But I got this in the recent blind box. I'll put that link as well. Um, but I definitely like this little bag. This one I was using yesterday. I went off to have a potluck with some fellow chick fighter pilots. It was really great to catch up and to um, help mentor the younger ladies. But it was um, really lovely, but I just wanted to do a minimalist thing. So I put my dollars in the front. I put my phone slipped in the back. I used both straps on there because I thought that was a nice decorative little thing on there. And I, I didn't want to carry it like that, not yesterday anyway, so I had a crossbody. And then in the main pocket, it has card slots built in, so I had some stuff there. I have a loaner truck from the dealership. It's my truck's in the shop. That's another story, another time. And I have just some lip balm. What else did I put in there? Oh, and I threw a pen in there, my Vera Bradley Daisy pen. Okay, so that's all that's in there. So um, for those of you who are interested in bag in a bag kind of concepts, 
I've been doing a couple different ways lately. This is a perfect bag in the bag concept. You could, when you're not using it, you know, tuck that strap in either in the back or inside and just have it as a pouch inside of a bigger bag. Um, but in this case, I wasn't doing that. I was using this as my bag in the bag. So it's a Gen Zip ID with a lanyard in the matching denim navy. I had this Stephanie Dawn chapstick holder and I had my truck key hooked on here. Had my IDs and credit cards in here and some dollars. And then in the snap part, I just have some business cards on there. So that's what I was using it for. And now I'm gonna unpack that too. Because again, I already took the dollars out and put them in here and my cards in there. I added in here a few things that are just thrown in the bottom. So I, I, I threw a lotion in there because I didn't have one. I threw my screen wiper in there because I actually want to put that in the new RV to wipe the GPS screen. A different lotion that goes in there. And then I grabbed this. Now I got this for free. It says Tierra Antigua Realty. It's a string and a heart, plastic heart, but it's a tape measure because I was measuring things in the RV because it's new and I want to rearrange it anyways. So I just threw that in there. That's going to go in the RV to stay. I have another pen, charging cord for my fan, which yay, KG gave me this when we were on our trip to Disney last year. It is such a perfect little fan. I am always hot. Listen, I'm 51. You got the whole menopause thing with hot flashes, my own personal summer, plus I live in Arizona, which is hot all the time. Plus, I'm just hot blooded. I sweat like that. So I try not to, you know, walk around all sweaty, but it works really well. It's a perfect little size. It's actually a slim profile. So it goes nicely in the slip pocket in my bag. So I think I'm gonna keep carrying this around. It is also lighted, has a higher speed, two higher speeds, and then off. Um, I think there's a way to turn off the light as well. And then if you wanna hold it, you have the little thing, you know. Anyway, I love this thing. And that's the charging cord. Anyway. Uh, little piece of garbage my little mini kiss coin purse this is Vera Bradley in the bramble pattern in the zipper pocket I had my keys so okay so this is the new RV keys and the key fob I've got locking pin for the hitch I've got my mail key and I've got my house keys I've got my medical alert ID and then I have my Vera Bradley loyalty tag bag charm. I love this little doofer. It has all your little store cards and whatnot in there. And since you don't need them all the time, I just keep them right there. And this happened to have matched the, the bag hole set up perfectly as well. Uh, but that's all that was in that zipper pocket. In the opposite slip, oh wait, I got another pen. In the opposite slip, I had mints and some gum and some breath strips that I don't really ever use lately. And that empties out the interior of the bag. In the outside zip, I had a manicure kit in uh, Fruit Grove, I think it was. There's my space pen. It's a pen, pencil, red pen, all in one. Got a lot of pens in there. And then my AirPod Pros, which probably need to be charged. And then I threw in there my little piece that if you put it in between the phone case and the phone and this little bit comes out the end, and it holds it in there so you can actually have your phone on the lanyard as well when you want to be hands-free and you don't want to lose it so that is it bag is now empty finally <laughs> oh not yet i also had this bag charm on there because that's where i had my chapstick and this butterfly and my sunglasses were in my sunflower case all right, so all this stuff goes aside. Now we're just 14 minutes and getting started. Let me start with Jujubee. Okay, so I like pouches, right? Oh, there's another fan. I like a lot of pouches. So I have a lot of B sets. There's the Nightmare Before Christmas. We'll get to that in a second. There's a plug first to match it. This is my black and white box. It's not all black and white. There's grays and there's actually blue and white polka dots. But here's the thing. One, I love pouches, especially in larger bags for organization. 
especially when you're grabbing and going from bag to bag or like for me I'm going to pickleball all the time so I'll grab just what I need the little cluster like the little eco pouch or my zip lane, zip ID and lanyard and grab that throw in my pickleball bag and run off or go to the dog park or whatever so I don't want to take my whole bag all the time hence the bag in a bag <laughs> um, but these are great and I love to mix and match my blacks and whites. So I did it with a bunch of Vera patterns. I've done it with Loves and Jujube and all these ones. But this specifically, this box is an example of some of that mixing and matching of blacks and whites. That being said, I do have a lot of Queen of the Nile. So let's, without further ado, dive in a little bit. Let's look at some of these patterns because we're not gonna pull them all out. We have the Duchess, which is black with white polka dots. Then we have Navy Duchess. Um, then we have this geo pattern, which is really cool. It's optical illusions in there. And then I have several pieces in the Queen of the Nile. We're gonna pull all those out in a sec. Then I have several black. I have the eco pouches. I have the black catwalk. I have the black chromatics. And then I got this other black one in my blind box. So several different ones. I also have a be quick in there. It's a little bit much. We don't need a lot for the purse. And then we have some grays, we have some emboss, we have sketch, which is the black and white. You've got, I wanna say empress. We've got this other matrix looking one. We've got this black and white one. We've got, um, I think it's night star or something like that, but it's night, K-N-I-T. Um, and then more gray matter and then lots of grays. Okay, so you get the idea there. But let's start real quick with just the Queen of the Nile options. And we'll put all this other stuff aside because, oh my gosh, we got some choices to get through. All right, so Queen of the Nile, I have a bestie. This is a great grab and go bag in a bag option. Because this is such a large bag, this could actually be a bag in the bag option. I think it's a bit much. I don't need that much space, usually just Chapstick, my phone, some money, some cards, um, and a key, maybe. So that's it. I don't need this right now. Great option for another time, though. All right, other bag in a bag options or just pouch options. This is a, a B cell, B cell? Fuel cell, sorry. Fuel cell. So it's an insulated pouch. I definitely don't need that in this bag at this time. Then, now here we're getting to some other options. I have the mini BFF, which is a smaller version configured like the Bestie. So this might be a viable option, still easily fits bag in the bag wise in here. And the other option I have is the mini BFF. So, I mean mini BFF and mini BRB. Both of them can be configured as backpacks that come with a strap or a shoulder bag. Um, so you can do them in different configurations, which is great. Um, and both are small. Both would work very nicely in here. But I think since I'm already using it, this might be my grab and go option instead of switching to a different one. We'll see, but I will keep those aside just in case. I do have a B set, very likely that one or more of these pouches will go in there. And then I have the B quick as well. And of course those are perfect matchy matchy. So we'll keep those out. We'll put this back down. Okay. Woo Still just getting started, guys. I went, I went deep. I went deep on the options to check out, to explore, and to share. Hi, Kelly. Kelly's black and white too, but you're not going in the bag. You gotta move. All right, so I pulled out more than a few options for us to go through. <laughs> yeah, it, it's 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 a big collection. So let's start with some of the things that we're not going to use, or, or most likely anyways. Um, doo -doo. I have a bunch of different ones. These are, these ones are all three or four piece cosmetic sets. So we have a three piece, a four piece, and then four piece, four piece. And they're all different patterns. This one is factory style, Stellar Paisley. Now, these look like huge things. Why would I be pulling them out to put into a purse or a daily bag? Because they have small pieces in them, like this. 
So this is a three piece. That pouch is a little bit big. I would use my B set anyway. So that one comes out. This one is a retail style black bandana medallion and it has some different shapes and some smaller pieces. So for example, you've got this little mini travel takes, which is exactly the same size I'm using now. So that would be a great one-to-one -one transition. Um, but I'm going to put it aside because I think, again, I'm going to go with the sleek options. Then I have two more factory style. This one is chandelier noir and this one is paisley noir so black and whites with some grays uh, both great patterns they do have a skinny piece that's this this rectangular one and both would be great options but i think for now no uh okay but with all of those colors and notes in mind in no particular order let's go through some things um, first of all, I have a card case. Now, I do need a card case of some kind in there because I have a lot of business cards for mine or other people's that I share and spread around for them. This is a nice little snap case. It has two sides, so you can put different cards in there. And this one is in Stellar Paisley, so factory style, cotton. Very slim trim, lightweight. So that has a possibility of making it in. I grabbed a whole stack of my old tech cases. So... The Vera Bradley Tech cases, and this is all jumbled up now. The Tech cases are great little organizational pieces. And I, I know I have more of them in here, sorry. But there was the original size. These are padded um, and they all have like little wristlet strap. They zip around the top. Inside, they might have one slip or no slips. But a great little thing, you put your charging cord, you could use them as business cards, you can use them as a little wallet, little wristlet. This one is in the night and day pattern. I love that perfect flower right on it. Um, again, blacks and whites. So it's fun just to mix your different black and white patterns because they all go and don't go, but they coordinate nicely. So there's a look at the Paisley Noir. No, um, yeah, Paisley Noir. You've got, oh my goodness. I don't even remember the name of this one. This one has a slip. So you have the larger size and the smaller sizes, all same configuration. This was a classic black microfiber. And this is not a tech case, but you can see the size, it's slightly smaller. This was a newer piece and it's in reactive. It's a reactive little wristlet. It has several card slots and a zipper. And this might, could make the pouch. This is another grab and go option. I could use it to organize the business cards or use cash, change, money, and use that as my grab and go, um, maybe. So I'll put that aside as a possibility. Um, what I might just do is this, because this is gonna get out of control really quick, is I'm gonna just dump out onto the table. We're gonna go top to bottom. You're gonna see a whole lot of black and white. <laughs> And scary as it is, this is not all inclusive of my black and white options. So, yeah. here we go. Okay, this way now, as we look at things, we can throw them into the pouch, go the other way with it. Okay, instead of trying to hold that in my lap. So, in no particular order, this is a great option, the Compact Organizer. This is a factory style from Vera Bradley. This one is in a lighten up or reactive formula. It has a big pocket and then it has a front zip around with two mesh pockets and a zipper pocket on the front. I use this one though for my controller and chargers for my spinal stimulator. It's just this thing and the chargers that go with it. So this doesn't always have to go in my bag, but it stays in its pouch. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. And if I have to carry it, I have to carry it, but usually I don't. All right, other pouches. We've got a clamshell cosmetic in Vera Bradley. It's rather large size actually, and it's velvet, which is fun, but I think I'm not gonna use that. Nor am I gonna use this performance twill pouch. It's plastic lined and pretty, but I kind of don't like the weird way that it's configured with the zipper. 
it works, it'll be fine. I actually haven't used it yet, but I'm not gonna use it now. We have, this is more of a travel jewelry thing, but it's small size and could work very well in a purse like this. I did seriously think about it, but I think no. We got some other cosmetics. This is an older style cosmetic from the retail side. This is classic black and microfiber and here's your, you know, moon beams or moon blooms, whatever it's called. There's your iconic style medium cosmetic. All of these are not going in. Uh, what other pouches we have? We have a medium cosmetic in the night and day. Old style Vera, which I really liked. It had, first of all, it had the trim patterns. And this style of cosmetic is just a great, it's not too heavy. They're pretty slim profile and they have a loop. So when you stack them in your bag, you can grab that loop out. I love that. Um, all the blacks and whites are great, but not gonna make it. Then we have, um, these are cosmetic trios. I have the Paisley Noir and then I have Concerto. And Paisley Noir, we've already kind of decided against. These are a great set of pouches though. These might make it in there. The Concerto and Mini Concerto. So this was actually a coin purse. There's a Concerto pattern. And then the Mini Concerto looks like that. It was the old collegiate pattern too, if you're familiar. But three pouches. So you have a small, medium, and large pouch. They're again, pretty slim profile. But nice pouches, great sizes to use. Um, yeah, so I might use one or more of these. So I'm going to set those in the maybe pile. I, I do have the jujube pouches, but these again, they're slim, so it might be a good option. And black and whites with black and whites, they're not perfect match or anything, but I think they go. Sunglasses. I definitely need a pair of sunglasses with me. So here are some of the options. We have a Chandelier Noir soft one with the squeezy top. I can grab a hold of it. So slimmer profile, but still protective. And I've got two magnetic ones. I've forgotten the name of this pattern. Uh, it's the same thing we were looking at a minute ago. And then Camo Cat. So these are the hard magnetic cases. And I think I'm gonna not use those. I also have black bandana medallion. Yup in the clamshell reader's case. Now, reader's cases actually oftentimes work for sunglasses, and because they're slimmer profile, I think they're great options. For now, mm, I'll set that one aside for the moment, and that one aside for the moment. We'll decide later. I also have a passy pod. Now, it isn't in Queen of the Nile. It's in the Geo pattern, but it matches pretty good. Um, I also have, while we're there, a coin purse in that pattern. So the Geo versus the Queen of the Nile. Goes very, very well together, of course. So those are possibilities. So we'll put those aside over there. Then I have my Metro XL in black from Lug. I love pouches. This is a great size pouch and it has a clip. So I could even clip it clip to clip on the inside of the bag or whatever. Inside this, it does have, uh oh. Well, it has a stuck zipper, is what it has. I'm gonna have to figure out what's blocking it. I think the card inside is blocking it. There we go. That was the tag. Okay. Anyways, inside you have Love Strike Black and you have a separate compartment for your clear window side. Great option. You also can put a second loop. You can make a little crossbody or wristlet out of that. We'll just keep it in the maybe pile. Speaking of IDs, I have this double ID, Fair Bradley Microfiber Classic Black. Great grab and go option. And then I got a whole bunch of zip IDs. I've got, uh, I don't know where to stack them over there so we've got that same black pattern we've got the new double zip id i think that's the name of it this one's in classic black this is a newer item from vera it zips both pouches zip around the corner your one side has a classic zip id configuration with the clear view and then the pocket and the other side just has a big pocket but Plenty big, like one side for cards, one side for money. You could do that kind of thing. That might be a good grab and go. 
tons of zip IDs. Oh, here's another eyeglass case. This is in Holland Garden. I might keep that aside and get rid of the black bandana medallion. And the reason being is I have a manicure kit to match the other. Okay, back to zip IDs. So we have this one, we have mini concerto, which if we're going matchy matchy versus mixy matchy, I have a stellar paisley and a lighten up. I have a classic black, just plain. I have a couple lanyards here. So if I'm doing full up grab and go, there's the stellar paisley, the black, the concerto. So those options aside depending on which one of these we pick. Oh my goodness, so many options. Um, I'm getting organized. Wallets, card cases, pouches, wallets. There's another zip ID. This is a deluxe zip ID in black performance twill. So this one has that double clear side and then two card slots, snap closure, and then a zipper portion. Another great option. So I'm just kind of going to put all the zip IDs together and set them aside because we're going to end up using one of them, probably. Clear pouches. pouches. Oh my gosh. Okay, wallets. Let's look at wallets because tons of options here. This is an ultimate wristlet. This is in Camo Cat. This is Vera Bradley. It is a large wallet. This would be by itself a grab and go because it has huge portions. I can actually fit my phone in here. Where is my phone? Right here. Now I used to carry this around with my iPhone 6s Plus, but your phone actually does fit in the zipper portion in the back. And it also can fit in the front. I like the push lock opening. It was very convenient. It worked well for me. And look at all these card slots, tons of card slots. And then you also have two big slip or a big slip and two clear ID slots. Um, I do have a lot of cards and then the back you have four more card slots I'm sorry six three and three another big slip plus your coins in the middle super great option I'm not sure this is what I want to use for many reasons I mean it's black and white doesn't really go even coordinating wise otherwise but it's an option I think I have other options that are better and I, I already know which wallet I'm going to use but spoiler alert I'm not going to tell you what it is other options, um, turn lock wallet. So slightly smaller, not quite as robust as the ultimate wristlet, but very similar. This one again is that night and day pattern with the black and white flowers. <laughs> Perfect placement on the back. This one has the coin thing on the back, which I do prefer. It has a turn lock front, hence the name, the turn lock wallet, but it's very similar to the other, except they're horizontal card slots instead of vertical. But then you have your big slip and two clarity, same as the ultimate wristlet. And the back is, again, the same, except the coin slot is moved to the outside of the wallet, which is my preference. So same capacity, actually, as the Ultimate Wristlet, but smaller profile. I mean, it's still a big wallet, don't get me wrong. These would be great in this bag, but not yet. We're not there yet. Turn lock wallet in Camo Cat, same config we just saw. And these are all just plain black inside. Then we have the, um, I think it's the clutch. Oh goodness, I've forgotten the name. I'll put it down below if I can find it. It's the Performance Twill one. It's a very robust wallet. I like this wallet a lot actually. It has a zipper on the outside, big pocket that you can really get into. Doesn't have to be for coins, but can be. And then you have like a tri-fold configuration but you also have an accordion configuration within it. So you have a big slip, you have in front of that six card slots, three and three. Then you have another big zipper, then you have three more card slots, three more card slots, two more card slots, a clear ID window, and another big slip. It's a great wallet. It has two snaps, so sizeation, you know, when you start to fill it up. There you go. Um, great, great wallet, and it is performance twill, so pretty robust, but it's out as well. Then we have the trifold wallet. Just a few to pick from that I grabbed that happen to be all black and white options. So we have, um, I've been calling this night and day, but this one is another 
Midnight Paisley, I think, Midnight Paisley, Concerto, Night and Day, and then Classic Black. These are all the same, but they're just a nice trifold wallet. So you have a zipper on the outside, you have a trifold. This is a factory style one. So you got um, plain black outside with this cheetah or leopard, whatever, inside. You have big card slot, two small slots, clear view, and then a whole bunch of card slots and two big slips behind it. Great, great wallets. Magnetic closure, which I like. Let's look at one of the retail ones. Let's look at the concerto to see the differences. Very similar, but this one has a clear ID here, clear ID here, and all the rest is the same. So, okay, not going with that option either. Here's more tech cases. There's Camo Cat. That can go out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of options. Here's another wallet option. This is a small one. This one actually is microfiber. It's a small zip around. It has a quick key loop, which you can take that off or you can leave it on. It's got a clear view ID on the back, but it's accessible from the back, so your ID could fall out. Um, inside you have two card slot sections, a middle section, and then a zipper in the middle. This is a great grab and go option. I definitely am gonna put this aside with the zip IDs because even though it wouldn't be my primary wallet, it could be the grab and go version. I'm setting up little piles here of things that we'll get to in sequence. But while we're talking about wallets and zip IDs, here's another zip ID, black and white. It's Penguins that has this faux leather piece on there with the checkerboards. We've got two options for AirPod cases on the outside. Could use it for hand sanitizer, coins, whatever. So those have a possibility of making it in. And we're gonna have maybe piles. Still, still it's stuck on wallets. This is a wristlet. It's like a giant wristlet. Um, that's not the name of it. It is called the RFID Tech Wristlet. This is very Bradley factory style. It's, like I said, the cool part is if you put your phone in here, you can actually operate the phone. So if like you're traveling and you don't wanna pull it out all the time. Um, and then you have, of course, the zip around entrance. So it is a nice wallet. It has um, four card slots and then a big slip where your clear view is. I'm not gonna use that, but you can use it for other things as well. Um, on that note, we have the Lug Peekaboo, another great pouch slash wristlet slash crossbody option. Um, this one is just the Peekaboo, not the Peekaboo um, crossbody. So same pouch in both cases, but the crossbody comes with a long strap and the Peekaboo pouch just comes with the wristlet strap. It's removable in all cases. You have the main pouch, which has a zipper pocket inside and a clear view ID pocket. And then you have this front zipper section that has, again, the secure access to your clear view. You can put your phone there and just like the RFID pouch wristlet, you can use your phone through that, um, just different material. I do like the idea of this. I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile for now. This is gonna be a long one. All right, then we have this wristlet option or pouch slash little purse. Um, it's velvet black, it's Vera Bradley. Um, I think the name is, let's see. Iconic RFID Slim Wristlet. Okay. This was a gift of purchase a while back. I haven't used it, but not gonna use it now. These are from Itsy Ritzy and these are little mini packing cubes. Great if you have like a backpack, a diaper bag, that kind of thing. But I thought since it matched the Queen of the Nile, I had gotten it long ago. It's the same type of pattern, doesn't match perfectly. Um, but I have used this actually. But I think for this, I have too many other options. This is not going to make it. But I do like they're all double zipper, they're smooth. They have carry handles on each of the pouches. I, they're just great for organizing yourself. So that's good. I have a passport wallet. This is the old retail style, or maybe this was, no, this was factory style. But 
the old ones were a different size and there used to be a slim notebook a slim journal that would fit perfectly in these and i would use these as like a little notebook thing and you have this middle you could actually put this the skinny pen through there um, it has both sides it has a flap and then behind it a big slip and then you have card slots with a clear id in the front and then your passport goes in here i never actually used it for a passport I love, love, love it. Coin thing on the back. This is great. I might keep it for a notebook this time. Okay. All right. Still on wallets and pouches. So these are some zip around wristlets is what they were called. This one's concerto. This is mini concerto. They are the same. Not going to use them, but they zip around inside. They have, like, this was supposed to be a cell phone slot here, but the phones nowadays are much larger. It's not even close. Um, it has three card slots there, a zipper pocket, and slips all around. Great size, great grab and go. Just doesn't fit your phone inside it. But look at the pattern placement. I got perfect, centered, and then double on the back. This is also concerto. This is a later laser cut faux leather. And so it's actually multi-layered. That's white behind the black. So there's, uh, those are actual cuts. I don't know if you can see the depth and dimension of that. Um, but this is a card case. And, and this is an old style. They don't sell this anymore. It's long retired. But on the front, you can see the mini concerto inside. It just has a slip. And then inside, you have three card slots on one side and three card slots on the other with plenty of space in the middle. So it's a pretty good little card case. I'm going to go ahead and set that aside as a maybe because that matches coordinates. This is um, a front zip wristlet, Bear Bradley, in the concerto pattern. So the zipper pull is the wristlet, zips part way around, coin zip on the back. Inside you have six card slots, three and three, and then the back you have a big slip and then just your middle space. Again, great option. My phone does fit inside of it, but not using that one either. And I need to do something in mini concerto. That's a lot of options. More wallet options. I've got a Wilson's leather card case. If you're like me and you have a lot of cards, this is a great option. They all fit both sides and both have a snap strap to secure them. And then there is a side slip. Now, I personally am not putting my money in there because it would just fall out. But if you're using this inside of something else, like maybe a pouch that didn't have card slots, like this beautiful faux basket weave. It's actually like plastic Vera Bradley. And remember the pattern right now but a cute giraffe but if you're using it in something like that that was just a pouch and you want to make it into a nice wallet something like that goes very well but not using that or that pouch cute pouch though then here is another pouch this is um, stellar paisley it's a factory style compact travel cosmetic it is plastic lined great size but no there's another factory style, medium cosmetic and classic black, old style. We've got a Stephanie Dawn pouch. This is a great size, classic black, Stephanie Dawn. Um, it's plastic line, but a different kind of, kind of like a fabric-y plastic, but a great size little pouch. This is the small essentials case, I think. Good size. I don't think we need this many pouches, but in case for size, we're gonna keep that as an option. External pouches. We got a little Kipling mini sole backpack bag charm. This can fit multiple things like AirPods can go right in the front. Behind that, you could have a lot of stuff. I mean, look at that. You could fit my whole fist in there. A lot of options. You could put it on a belt, you know, and, and carry it like on a belt. You can put it on a zip ID lanyard. Not a bad idea, actually. Hmm. I like the AirPods. Could have used my AirPods today at the VA, went to the dentist, and don't show up half hour early because they're not going to get you in early. But they did get me in on time, but I, I there was a repetitive noise in the office, and it was a stupid check-in machine saying, for visually impaired, check the lower left hand of the screen over and over and over for 40 minutes. I wanted something else in my head. <laughs> anyway, side story. Um, Keychain options. We've got Camo Cat in this. This style, I don't remember what it's called, but it's kind of cool because it has this basic piece that has a loop and it has a snap. So you can hook it onto things, you can hook it around um, something, or you can put other things through there, add more key rings. Um, it has a clip on there 
and then it has a key ring on there. So a lot of different ways you can use that. Then I have the double loop keychain. This one is in mini concerto. It has one side a loop keychain, the other side is a quick release. So for example, you have your keys and you just wanna clip it onto things, you can do that. And then it actually opens up, just pops out, and you can take that ring off or add more rings on, whatever you wanted to do there, and then it just pops through. So that's an option. And then I have just this um, wristlet loop keychain, factory style, Vera Bradley in classic black. This one has a woven back to it, but um, I might keep that out as well. And these, uh, no, okay. Coin purses. No, not yet, not yet. We still gotta do the rest of the wallet. Uh, wallets. Two different versions of the ultimate wristlet, I mean, ultimate card case, sorry. There's a factory style and a retail style. They're both black. I think this one is performance twill. Yeah, anyways, both great options, slightly different configurations. I can't remember who it was that recently asked me on a video if dollar bills fit in these cases um, without folding. The answer is no on, on ones like this because the zipper doesn't even go the full length, it stops short. So I guess if you worked your dollars in and kind of folded them while you get them in and then laid them flat, yeah, that works, but to me that's not happening. Um, and there is a big slip here, so your dollar bills would actually fit there. I just personally would never put my dollar bills there unless this is secure inside something else um, because I don't want my things to fall out. That's just me. So that was a clarification on that because there are, it turns out, a lot of different versions of the card cases, even the ultimate ones. And yeah, uh, somewhere along the way I found one that they would fit in. I don't see it here now, but there you go. Um, still on wallets and whatnot. Here's another zip around. And this one's just a different configuration, slightly different size. Old Vera. We've got a heart pouch from Lug in black. I don't think I need a, need a lot of hanging on the outside stuff. But hand sanitizer, this is Jujube in the um, million pockets backpack material it's that soft like faux leather it feels very sleek it has it comes with this little bottle that doesn't come with anything in it but you can fill it with whatever you want lotion maybe that's not a bad idea lotion or hand sanitizer and it just snaps closed you could take that out entirely and just put your AirPods in there that also works um, but it clips on the thing so I'm gonna keep that out as a maybe speaking of hand sanitizer this is Bath and Body Works it's got this little jewel charm but this is a different version. It's the spray bottle kind. Black Cherry Merlot. Yeah. Yummy. I'm gonna wet my sweaty face with my clean hands. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is a nice little silicone case. This might, maybe. <gasps> Coin purse. My silicone panda. It's white. He can make it. And so that's all my maybe stuff. Oh, another wallet. We got the Tendu. I've actually shown this on another lug video. The Tendu is a lug. This is a, a smaller profile wallet. Some people have said that the dollar bills didn't fit very well in here. I actually haven't tried it just because it's not quite tall enough this way. Um, it looks like a nice configuration though. I'm still not gonna use it because I have other plans. I should stop beating around the bush and get to the, what am I gonna use? I don't know why I put that one back in plastic. Everything else is open, whatever. Okay, still going through wallets. We got, oh, this is not a wallet. This is another pouch. This is a Vera Bradley retail side. Mini travel case with clip in black bandana medallion. It definitely has a clip, that's kind of cool. You can clip it back on itself. You can hook it onto things. It has zippers and straps. This is a great little tech case or small jewelry case. That's soft line pocket. A miscellaneous pouch that you can use for a lot of different things. It is black and white. Hmm. I'm going to say no. I can always go back on that. Uh, card case. This one is like the coffee break from Juju which I didn't grab any because I didn't have that pattern. Um, but it has two card slots on each side, and then the center is another slot as well. This one is classic black. Vera. 
going to keep that out because that could be a supplemental piece inside other pieces. And while we're talking about it, here's some other coin purses. This is Vera Bradley, old style. It has two compartments within there. It zips around like half moon. Not using that. Here's some factory style, Chandelier Noir and Stellar Paisley. They have a slip pocket on the front and then a zipper compartment. Great size, not, not using them. This is a Stephanie Dawn. No, wait, is it? Yes, Stephanie Dawn. And it is just a coin purse and the pattern is Hudson. Oop, I'm zipping the, zipping the tag in it. It is a nice trip pattern. Very reminiscent of Vera Bradley. And if you're not familiar with Stephanie Dawn, they are now closed down. But they're made by KLM Manufacturing and they used to make Vera Bradley bags when they were made in the States. That's why they're so similarly styled. Um, but when Vera Bradley went overseas, they started up Stephanie Dawn. But anyways, they're not, no more. There's another zip around in the classic black. Now, we're getting down to the nitty gritty of wallets. My favorite lug wallet thus far, the Splits XL. You can remove the wristlet strap. This is a great wallet. I've used this one a lot. It has a lot of card slots, clear view. It has a pen slot, it has a big slip behind. It has a catch drawer here, or you can put your cell phone there. Fits very nicely. You have the second compartment that is mirror image. You got big slips, multiple card slots, more card slots in the middle on both sides and a coin slot on the back. Love, love, love this wallet. I have a bunch of them and I use them a lot, a lot, a lot. Seriously considered pulling this out and using it. In fact, did pull it out to use it, but guess what? I already have the matching wallet and it's hard to pass up a matchy matchy when the option is available. So I'm kind of still stuck in the matchy matchy. Uh, this is the, either Be Rich or Be Spendy. I forget which is which, but there's only two versions of the Jujube wallets that came out in the full-size wallet. Um, this is Queen of the Nile. Queen of the Nile, by the way, came out twice. The original came out with gold interior, and the second release, Queen of the Nile 2, came out with a silver inside. So in case you didn't know, that doesn't matter for my pieces, but some will be a mix and match in that regard. Uh, don't fall down. Um, but this is a great wallet. So again, me and my card slots, it's a trifold configuration, card slots everywhere. They're all double stackable. There's big slip here, big slip here. I wish there was a big slip there, um, but there's not. So lots and lots of slips everywhere. This one has extra gusset. That's where I put my dollars in my uh, but there you go and on the back it has a coin slot as well i don't really like the way that it's configured because it's hard to grab that zipper um, but there it is kind of sleek so this is the wallet i have chosen for obvious reasons that's going in there other things i have i do have coin purses this is that night star the kni ght one and this one is the matching queen of the nile so guess what that's in I don't think we're using that one at all. And then I have a mini choo-choo in black. Again, I don't know why this is still in the plastic. I'll just throw that away. Um, just a classic black. These are those little mini pill cases, but you can take the pill cases out and just use this awesome little pouch by itself. Um, so that is a possibility. I mean, again, plain black. Okay. Then we have black transport envelopes, three pouch set, quick release there, you can hook them together, you can use the multiple pockets. Not using it. Runway envelopes in classic black, two sizes, not using them. Could go back for the small one, but I doubt it. Um, and then you've got the tackle. The tackle here shown in midnight black, this is a four pouch set. The largest is the clear view, definitely not using that, but look at these pouches. The small, medium, and large. Very much like the B set, but slimmer profile. And these are plain black, so again, they would go very nicely with the Queen of the Nile pouches. Uh oh, I just dumped the strap out of there. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this out. As yet another maybe, <laughs> so many maybes, not a lot of stuff we gotta put in. Okay, so. Let's dive in to what we have in the maybe pile, even including what I dropped here. Okay, this is gonna narrow down pretty quickly. 
The B set, in. Well, maybe not all of it. The B quick, out. But let me pack it up more appropriately. Uh, take the strap off and put it inside. The strap inside. And zip. Okay. Be quick. Out. Uh, maybe. Notebook. Card case. Out. Peekaboo. Maybe. AirPods. Out. 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 We'll do all that out. Card case. Card case. Card case doesn't fit in there. Card case. Hmm. This one's still in. Out. Out. This little guy can go on the inside or outside. I think this is staying in. Out. Out. Okay, narrow it down. Out. You don't need a bunch of different coin purses. We don't need, okay, so we got some black pouches. I don't need the notebook because I have my planner. We're not gonna need these grab and go options. They're out. Um, um, um. Pouches. Okay, we have the one coin purse. I might keep the second for now which means these ones are unnecessary and we don't need that many card slots, so that's out. Keychain. Mm. Out. We don't need bulk for the sake of bulk. Hand sanitizer options. They are plentiful. I do have some hand wipe ones in my everything pouch. I think I'm going to keep the spray. Spray is in. This one's out. Out to this full. Uh, okay, that's out. We're narrowing it down. Okay. This is my glasses case. We have some pouch options. We do have my bag in a bag option. Okay. Zip IDs and lanyards. We do need to choose one version because. When I go into go play pickleball, I don't necessarily want to take the whole duper here. So let's move into one. And instead of having a big grab and go here, I think there's coins in this somewhere from today. Cards coming out. ID, driver's license, credit card, bank card, Costco. Car key, coins, and chapstick. Keep hearing more coins, but it's not that. Okay. That is out. Glasses. They're sunglasses, but they're prescription sunglasses. They're in. Okay, kids. Let's start moving in. We have a big, beautiful bag for now. I'm just going to put stuff inside. We've got pouches that need to go in there. The wallet will go in there, I'll transfer over. Those can wait for a moment. Wallet, I'm going to put in one of the slips. No. The wallet. Yes, the wallet will go in one of the slips. Sunglasses in the other slip. I know there's a sunglass face in the front. Phone will go in the phone slot. Planner. In the back, big slot. I don't need all these pens, but for now, uh oh, I want that one. Two of them in the back pocket with the planner. Oi, oi, dropping everything off. Lots of room. We already got the wallet, so that will transition. Manicure kit. We do have a black and white manicure kit in Holland Garden. So I'm gonna take that 
and put the other one in the my purse basket with my spare bits and bobs going in and out of purses my aunt jean basket so this hmm, can go in the front and i will put that in the slip right there zip id we did not pick i might just go with hmm, I don't know. Uh, maybe Stellar Paisley. Because it's different, but it's lighting up. Yeah. Stellar Paisley. Ooh. So, lanyard wise, we'll take Stellar Paisley. They all have tags, so I'll fix that later. Money. Fold it in half, fits very nicely in the main pocket. And then tissue out, stack O cards in, my military ID on the outside. So that's me, that's my case. And I usually have chapstick attached to it. So we'll just go with this one and attach it. So grab and go, on the fly, bag in a bag, whatever you wanna call it. And I'm gonna put that on the outside since that's my grab and go and I'm gonna take that to pickleball tonight. Just shove that whole thing in there. Because my normal truck key, which is not this loner truck key, which is brand new. I've never driven a truck with 15.9 miles on it. Unless I've been driving all week while mine's... By the way, just had a routine oil change in the tire rotation. And I wanted to upgrade my nav maps, so I had them do that at the same time. That's going to cost me an extra $100, because when they went to update it, it wouldn't take the update. It said it needed to update to Sync 3, if you have 4, do you know what I'm talking about? Except it wouldn't take that. There was an error. So now I'd have to replace the whole console thing, and I have to pay the deductible on extended warranty. So that's another extra $100. When, had I not been upgrading my maps, which pisses me off, total side story, but it pisses me off because there's been more than one issue with the dealership trying to pull some wonky crap on me. But I've been telling them for six years that there was something wrong with the NAV system because it would just randomly black out and reset and come back up and work fine. But I kept telling them, they're like, oh, we can't find anything wrong. Now, six years later, when I have to pay extra, now there's something wrong with it. Well, I got two things to say and uh, it involves my middle fingers, which I will not share right now, but there you go. I don't have a lot of patience for that kind of crap, but here we are. Side story. Okay, so the bag's kind of heavy actually already because of all the stuff I have in it. But we really don't need to put that much more, thankfully. So we need a tech type pouch. And I'm thinking that, what all do we have tech wise? We have a cord, a fan, I could go with the manual fan, but not gonna do that right now. That can go back in the basket. We've got lotion, but we don't need multiples. Tech, we've got a screen wiper. We've got a little insert. We don't need extra chapsticks. Cards. We've got gum and mints. We don't need all of these. We do have a lot of keys right now, but they all have to go in there. Lotion, card, coins out, coins out. This goes in, but it's temporary because it's going into the RV. Okay, we're down to pouches. So let's talk pouches. We've got a small, medium, and large set piece. The small is for sure going. What shall we put in this small? Will the cards fit in the coin purse? Yes. But how convenient is that going to be? Will they all fit at the same time? Not convenient, no. So, the coin purse might end up being four coins. That's cool, too. 
And I'm going to put the coin purse on the bungee and put it in the pocket in the front. I'll show you at the end where that's at. Ooh, and my little fan is gonna go right in that sunglass pocket in the front pocket, that's great. In the zipper pocket on the front, the cards are gonna go just in that zipper pocket. That's perfect, and it zips tech stuff. Okay, gum and mints and breast strips, sure, why not? That can stay in there. Gum mints, breast strip in the small set piece, inside the main pocket, inside. The zipper pocket is going to be all the keys. they don't need to be accessed all the time. No, that's not very optimum. So I'm going to put them in the other side pocket since my water bottle's inside. Plump oak keys, side pocket. So I have a zipper pocket. I have two tech pieces plus my AirPods. These are just going to go by themselves in that zipper pocket. I don't need extra bulk just to have pouches for the sake of pouches. I don't need that goes in, out, 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 out. Okay, so now we're down to these items. The bag is got lots of room still so I think either the medium set piece or one of these two pouches break the break the seal okay so we've got a small one a medium one these are a little bit trimmer profile but this is the matchy matchy hmm. I think I know where I'm going with it this little pouch had so much stuff in here you're gonna be surprised okay so, we have lotion, we have an eye, eye wiper, we got a little medicine thing. This just has like a leave and some medicine, some Tums, some earplugs, dental floss toothpicks, hair tie, hair tie, hand sanitizer wipes, mascara, little baby one, a little mini mag light, a little Wounded Word project kind of like a little Swiss army knife, has toothpick, tweezers, scissors, a screwdriver and a little knife, so and a little vial. So it's a cute little thing. That can stay in there. And then I have this Wounded Warrior Project little multi-tool. So a little saw edge, sharp edge, which isn't that sharp, but wood cut things. Openers and screwdrivers of sorts, different ways, the corners of screwdrivers. Yeah, anyways, multi-tool. And a you know, useful little thing. It's not a weapon. It has a little ruler edge on it and everything. Fits nicely in these little skinny sections. So this medium set piece, I'm going to put all of this, all of it. My, actually I actually have little Vera Bradley ones that are even a little smaller than this, but I don't care if this one gets broken. It's just going to stay in the RV. And I can grab one of my other ones to keep in here. But all of this, including the sanitizer, actually fits in there. But the sanitizer is going to stay on the bag. And I'm going to put it up front because there, it can stay outside. And this still has lots of room in it, but bam. Fits perfectly right up the middle of the bag. And there we go. So inside, finally, we have my wallet, my sunglasses, my pouch we just packed, my small set pieces right next to it. And there with the tech stuff. And then we have on the far side, we've got the tech things and the water bottle and still tons of room inside. In the front pocket, or sorry, back pocket, we have my phone and my planner and pens. Up front, we have the fan 
manicure kit, the coins and cards in there. I'll just leave that unzipped. The business cards. Perfect. Still lots of pouches available and not too heavy. Great size. Ready to rock and roll. That's it. Bye for now.